Okay, so it's a little after 6, 6.15, and we made it, and we're at Oddball Aquatics. <laughs> What's up, little guy? Hi. <laughs> What's up? Why would they be bringing a girl? Just ignore the dog, she's an idiot. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Our dog out. Nope, out. We have money. We definitely have money. <laughs> so how you doing? How's it going? Not bad. I finally uh, made it. Oh, welcome to. I keep telling friends. everybody I'm gonna come down. We're gonna do a video, and I made it. You did make it. So. I couldn't believe Rich sitting here when he's sitting at Clarksville. Yeah. He called me, and he's like. They're good. They're gonna be right next to you. I'm like Clarksville's two hours from me. <laughs> yeah. He called me and he's working the GPS on it. He says it's five hours to Clayton and it's five hours to Clarksville. I'm like, but when you add them together, there's two hours in between them. And he's like, No, you're not listening to me. And I'm like, No, you're not listening to me. <laughs> yeah, it was two hours north, but it's like I've been wanting to do it. He even told us we didn't have to. We could come yeah. straight back because we got that cat. In the I was back. gonna say you got that giraffe cat, right? But mm -hmm. but it's like no, I am so close. I'm so close, I'm going. We're gonna do it. You tell me but, what you want to see. It goes all over the place. Well, you you tell me. You give us a tour. Here's the. There's the problem, children. Problem children? Yeah. <laughs> Look, here's the good one. Ooh. Yeah, she showed me this last time. I cleaned it out right. so you can see the rope fish that are down there. Let's... Where are they hiding? Oh, everywhere. There's 13 of them. There's one right here about to crumb out of these rocks. Right mm. there. But you see them in their like Jurassic Park, you'll see the plants moving and you'll be like, oh, there's one over there. There's one nice. over there. This guy's just popped his head out. Right there in between them rocks. Oh, okay. There's mm. a bunch of them up there. <laughs> Those are my babies. Nice. My carnivorous plants. Oh, oh, okay. It's a carnivorous pitcher plant? Yeah, there's that one, and then these two are both pitcher plants, too. It's just a different oh, kind. Oh, okay. They had all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> Do you have to actually feed them then? or just... mm -hmm. There's um, ants in this pond, and isopods, and springtails, and everything just feeds itself. Awesome. Excellent. You leave your girlfriend with my kids? She's, she's yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> My kid's a YouTuber. She thinks she's famous. She's gonna tell her everything. So. <laughs> she's taking after mom now. Yeah, I'm getting into these house plants, though. I need to talk to your woman about some house plants. Yeah, that's not a problem. I keep... She got her orchids finally to bloom for the first time. I so. got these monsteras. And, and we got this uh, pregnant onion. Is it's really cool? Cool. It looks like an onion because it's a big bulb mm -hmm. and it, just green leaves. But it produces little ones right off of it, and it pops out. And those are new plants. Weird. I know, <laughs> but it's green. flowering. <laughs> I made like an assload of chicken strips if somebody wants some. Okay. This is my problem child that I can't decide whether I'm parting with or not. Oh, this yeah. is the one you're not sure of. Mm -hmm. my, my fish. He keeps beating up my cell phone, Pleco. Yeah. Mm -hmm, really. And I've got a 540 that's going in the basement soon, but I'm afraid he's they're gonna beat each other up over it. But I love him, even though he's a jerk. <laughs> Look, he tore all this up. All this wood was back there. He tore all that up. Wow. He's a big old jerk. Well, yeah. come back here. Uh, this is a uh, 40 a gallon skin. That's a 40 gallon planted tank. So that one has a filter with the big boys in it. This has no filter. And there's Melanotania parva, rainbow fish, gold denison barbs, there's a regular denison barb, there's an albino longfin pleco down there. Now, do you, when you're doing plants and stuff, if you don't have uh, uh, fish in there, do you have to feed the plants then? Or do you I have to have a filter? I feed the plants anyway. You don't have to. I feed the plants anyway just because I've got so many plants that if I don't, I'm going to start getting deficiencies somewhere. Okay. Remember? Um, 
You can do it without a filter. You can do it without fish. If you do it without fish, you really need to feed the plants. So when I'm feeding plants, I usually just get a mix. I like this one. It comes from my buddy, Steven at SC Aquatics. Ah, oh, good old Steven. Okay. Yeah. And <clears throat> honestly, I like his because it's got a stupid amount of nitrate in it. A lot of the other ones don't have as high in nitrate or potassium in it. And this is just one squirt per 10 gallons. So every time I do a water change, if it's a 50 gallon tank, five squirts, I'm done. And this is one of your plant Yeah, this chain. is my low boy. This is my, this is my freshwater frag tank. <laughs> Full of shrimp. I went ahead and fed these shrimp so you could see uh, them all coming to the house. Oh, okay, yeah. But I still good. gotta feed everybody else. I figured you'd address either. Every spot you. Smells nice. Smells nice. I gotta feed at the moment. There we go. There we go. So this is just all shrimp. She just runs around. All shrimp in here then? And plants, yeah. Ooh, what kind of plant is this and this? That's, these are neat. This is Pogo Stem and Helferi. So this, this plant, technically, you're not supposed to be able to grow without CO2. I call BS. Really? That is Lemnophilia aromatica. And also, you're not supposed to be able to grow pink plants without uh, CO2 and high light. That's a pink flamingo crib. This is a $12 shop light. Ain't no CO2 on this tank. <laughs> so I call BS. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh. Impossible. Those are my puffers. <laughs> Those are the Scootin' Pretty puffers. Those are the Shodentai puffers. I just got my first puffer. Oh, right, yeah, what kind? Uh, spotted green puffer. Green spot puffer? Yep. Those Somebody like gave it to me, so I had to take it. Yeah, those, those, that's my breeding trio of Shodentai puffers. And then these are grass tail guppies that were supposed to be blue grass tails, but they're kind of all different colored grass tails. They didn't really breed true. No sides are the same. And then these are uh, Tiger King Cobra goby, or, uh, guppies that I just started breeding out. I was say there's a lot of little ones in there. This is my giant snail. Come here, buddy. Let go. Thank you. Holy cow. <laughs> that's a freshwater snail? That's a freshwater snail. I didn't know they could get that big. Uh, that's an apple snail. <laughs> He's... Uh, ginormous. And now I'm covering oh, wow. it. Wait, he's got like... Yeah, he's growing algae. I'm <laughs> sure. Cool. He does that sometimes. <laughs> I gotta go dry my hand now. That <laughs> is neat. Hey, you, you want to dry it or not? I do not. These are pink <laughs> tuxedo guppies. Pink tuxedo? Yeah, yeah. so they have black on the front, pink on the back. Or the males are. Oh, and there's a... Big yellow shrimp back there. Yeah, I put some shrimp in there to try and help me beat that algae. There's some algae in there. This tank is uh, empty except for a bunch of crayfish. Um, oh, really? They're dwarf. There's one right there. Dwarf Alabama Brazos crayfish. It's like a dwarf species of cray. And mm. they just breed like crazy in there. I gotta pull. And what kind of plants are these then? These are Huteroid Crips and Jungle Val. And you actually came when I'm like two weeks from going to a swap. So if you would have come two weeks from now, all these plants are going to be gone because I'm going to sell them at the swap. Ah. So it becomes, right now I'm in farm mode, so everything just stays. Okay. And then over here, I'm growing out a ton of guppies and stuff for summer because if I grow them out all summer, then when summer tubbing hits, I have a bunch of them to sell. So these are double sword endlers. They got the split tail on the end of them. <laughs> freaking adorable. How many tanks you got total? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen tanks and an indoor pond. <laughs> and then these guppies are the black saddlebacks and the sky blue albinos. Ah, I see that sky blue one. Yeah, they're beautiful. They got their tails ripped up, so I'm trying to bounce them back at the moment. There's also a bunch of shrimp in there. Just because I throw shrimp everywhere. Because why not? Right, I'm trying to throw some in mine. Right, I mean, worst case scenario, somebody eats them. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. Worst case scenario, somebody eats them. And then this one? And then that is my Senegalis Bashir tank. So you've got... That guy is a regular, or this guy is a long-finned albino. This is a short-finned albino. 
That's a platinum. And then the back there is the original color. I'm gonna feed them so they come up front for me. But she's freaking fat, so she eats a lot of food. One, two, three, four, a million, five, six, seven, twelve, something like that. And they eat pellets then? I had to switch them to this massive order of light stuff because if I feed her blood worms, she'll take down like eight cubes of blood worms. Really? And each one of these is designed like to feed like red-tailed cats and stuff. So each one is like one and almost two goldfish worth of protein. And she'll take down like five of these. Wow. Cause she's a half or a look at her. <laughs> she's so obese. Yeah. She'll eat me out of house and home with my favorite blood worms. And then all these plants. This is all jungle val. And then this is Taiwan lilies, guppy grass, and then that's an Anubis. Now, do any of these really flower? Oh yeah, that Taiwan lily will flower. There's a piece over here, if you look straight through, that's growing up out oh, the water. Yeah. So, I mean, it just depends on how you let it go. Everything technically will flower. Okay. But you have to give, you have to make it happen. You have to give it the right parameters. So like this Anubis, I just pulled the flower off, but this is an Anubis. It just started growing out the water because the tank's real shallow. And because it started growing out the water, it immediately threw a flower. Yeah. But like this is a temple plant, that'll flower. All, all, you can get anything to flower with the right parameters. Oh, cool. And what's in this one here? Uh, that is my very old, very horrible looking axolotl. He is nine billion years old. No, he's, he's right not. here. And what's his name? His name's Major Tom. Oh, okay. But he's got, like, he's supposed to have the big flowy gills, mm -hmm. but he's so stinking old, and he just, he, I got him as a rescue, and he just, he's never been able to get his gills all the way back. Mm -hmm. But he just keeps going, so. Cold water salamander from Africa or from uh, Mexico. Now, do any of these plants would work in a brackish? Brackish gets difficult. Because I'm trying like salt. trying to find something to put with a puffer. Yeah, plants don't like the salt. The best I can tell you is get a thicker plant, like the Anubis will probably stand up to it better. But it's going to be slow growers. You're going to have real slow growing plants if you do that. What is it? Daphnia is a bug that eats green water. Super good live fish food. If you really? find one of the big ones, you can see them like pushing water around. It's actually pretty cool. They're weird. Huh. Neat. And then you got a rabbit? Yeah, we have a rabbit. It's name's food. What's its name? It's my, it's my rabbit, but my mom made it. And they got a kitty. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. What's up, kitty, kitty, kitty? Oh, yeah, that's my cat. That's Ozzy. Ozzy. Come here, Ozzy. He, he loves attention. Come on, Ozzy. He's Good about nine boy. billion years old. He's a 15-year-old yeah. cat. Oh, really? Yeah, I've had him longer than I've had anybody else in the house. Oh. Good kitty, kitty. Jake, are you getting the rabbit out? Good kitty, kitty. I want you to sit down and eat your dinner like I told you. Oh wait, I have two tanks. There's a there's betas in here, there's a frog, and then there's my mutt guppy tank. <laughs> <laughs> Your what? Mutt guppies, that's just a bunch of the guppies that like, they weren't good enough to stay in the line, but they're still gorgeous, so I brought them, I brought them in here, and I'm gonna just see what kind of weird stuff comes out of there. Some of them look really nice. And then this frog showed up on some bamboo that we got in at work. You'll probably never see him. He's like this this big he's so little oh really a little tree frog or i don't know what he is i think he's something from florida because he came in on some plants from florida could be anything. yeah i opened <laughs> up a thing of bamboo and he jumped out at me and i was like well we didn't order you <laughs> the heck did you come uh, from so really? he just hangs out in my bedroom wow with all my plants and my nonsense <laughs> and my little bettas that are left over from breeding them last summer you're putting what now in here? A 900 gallon and a 540 gallon. Ooh, you already got them? Or? Oh yeah. Do you? They're not tanks, they're ponds. Ah, oh, okay. They're ponds, they're in these boxes over here. Boswell sponsored me and they sent me the 900 gallon 
And then they also sent me a 540 in custom black. So that one's blue and this one's black, but the whole front panel is clear. Oh, really? So you're gonna be able to see into it instead of just a top view. So that's where the rope fish are going, all in that area over there. We gotta level all of this floor because it leaks down here and I'm trying to avoid black mold. Right. So my dad was just down there with his level figuring everything out. We're gonna get like leveling compound. No, you're not coming down here. Yeah. Oswell sent them to me for free. Oh, I was, uh, I was like, sweet. Can't that. No, can't I got that. tanks everywhere. <laughs> uh, I dropped me. I've got them in my front yard and everything else. Right? No. Uh, so by please. the way, Rich was wondering why you, you, you're supposed to have been coming up a couple of times. I know, man. You haven't made it. I'm I'm here, and I'm not even supposed to be here. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Why haven't I made it? Life. Um, single parent, has to work her butt off. Kid got sick, then I got sick. I'm actually two... I don't know why I'm looking at my watch. There isn't one. I'm actually like two weeks away from going to the oral surgeon, and my mouth is just like in so much pain <laughs> mm. so i've literally been sitting around here going just just stay alive i can't eat anymore it's ridiculous wow um but soon i'll have a bright white smile awesome and i won't look like this anymore <laughs> so we're gonna get going thank you for the tour and everything you're welcome sir <laughs> All righty. Oh, be careful. Get and, that cat uh, back. Yeah, and give us a call. Let us know what's going on with that Columbus thing. And if Steven and you are going to head up in. Yeah, we're going to do that. And we're also going to, I'm going to be out there because I need to spend some time in the hot tub. And also, I got to see all these stingrays in the pond. Yeah. Because. Because I've seen they got their building. Uh, I watched a video the, the other day. Uh, well, um, Predatory, Rod oh, and Rod Kevin, and they Kevin went in together. Yeah, 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 I saw it. So I've seen the building and everything. They're working on it. So I need to see them before they're gone. Yeah, it's, a, it's only a matter of time. But also, now I'm kind of afraid to swim in the pond because I'm going to get barred. There's no. There's a big hole in my leg for six months like you do. No. <laughs> you just, I've been in the big pool with them. We've had to do that elephant here I don't know how many times. So I've been I'm in there. I'm going to steal a piece of that elephant here, by the way. You know, but You're going to have to watch me because if I get in that pond, the first thing I'm doing is I'm just going to get myself a leaf. <laughs> in the dirt. Not a problem. Alright, we'll see you later, hon. Bye. Bye. Alright, so we're getting some gas here at Circle K. We'll fill up and get home. But right after we leave here, look what's right across the street. Oh, come on, focus. White Castle. I don't know why I can't focus, but... Yep, White Castle. So here we come. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Everything's been doing, well, no, everything's not doing real good. Uh, supposed to have a get together, well they had a get together on a Riches Saturday. Don't know how well it went because uh, I was, you know, going out there and this and then and the exhaust fell off the car. Couldn't get a towed that day, I don't know why. Uh, supposedly it was so cold out here that most of the people and trucks were making or getting truck stops or I mean helping people start their cars and batteries and so forth so on because uh, I even I have AAA but I tried to get a private tow and it didn't happen but got it there today should have it back by Monday hopefully so you know didn't get out there I'm sorry Skylar because she brought me some things, you know, for my trains and stuff, and I didn't get out there. But everything's going good. I'll, guy, I'll show you guys the uh, puffer tank tomorrow. But um, that you guys stay fishy, my friends. Uh, hit the like, share, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.